hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet Chile. i am super excited to be bringing you all this sobolo recipe our own hibiscus flower this stuff is so healthy you need it in your life now if you're new to my channel join the sweet team by clicking on that subscribe button right now while you're at it hit that bell and hit all notifications so you will be among the first to be notified when i upload a video let's get started so here i have my sobolo flower hibiscus flower and this is the packaging that it came in it says jamaica hibiscus flower so just in case you want to know what it looks like so what i like to do is to give it a quick rinse and i'm going to be soaking this overnight it is the best thing to do because you get the most out of it and i'm making a lot because i'm sharing with my brother <laughs> so this is what it looks like right now let's see what it will look like tomorrow look how nice and intense the color is now so i'm just going to begin simmering it while i prep my other ingredients so next i'm going to peel off my pineapple which is nicely washed by the way and in case you don't want to use the outer part which is the peeling so many people were wondering can they make it without that it's very medicinal but in case you're worried about pesticides you can just peel it off very lightly just peel off the greeny part leaving the little black spots which <laughs> we guys call hingme you can leave those and then you give it a second peeling and that is what will go into your hibiscus drink to make it a lot more healthier now let's talk about some of the health benefits of the hibiscus flower number one to me is that it may help lower your blood pressure and also lower your blood sugar levels it is absolutely amazing it also may help lower blood fat levels boost liver health may promote weight loss contains cancer preventing compounds could help fight bacteria which is why so many people are hyped about it towards the coronavirus and it is packed with antioxidants and it's delicious so what do you have to lose make it a point to try this drink <laughs> at this point i'm just going to cut up my pineapple into little pieces because we're going to be blending it to get the juice out of it now if you have a juicer you can go right ahead and use that but i'll be using my blender So now I'll add the pineapple peeling and core into my drink and I'll allow it to simmer beautifully for about 15 minutes. You don't want it to boil vigorously because it will boil over. So like I said, I'll finish cutting this up and I'm going to set it aside for blending later. so for the rest of my ingredients i have some whole cloves grains of selim whole black pepper in ghana they use the red pepper ginger and chili peppers 
Now the red peppers I was talking about is round like this but it's red. I think it's called Yechulu. A form visa or a throw visa. I'm not sure which visa it is but <laughs> please um, find that out. So we're going to just blend our spices and also our pineapple and go ahead and get the juice out of them. Now that we have everything prepped, we're going to go ahead to put our drink together. So I'll strain the hibiscus drink into my pineapple juice and whatever will be left in my pot, I'll add hot water to it and bring it back to a boil and I will fill the pot up. If I had a bigger pot, I would have made it all at once, but this is just what I have to do. As you can see, it's still as red as can be. So our drink is ready and at this point I'll add in my sugar and the sugar should be to your taste and I'll begin adding in my blended spices. And if you do it this way, you will get it just perfect. You don't wanna blend everything and add everything. You wanna add taste, add and taste. I remember my first time trying Sobolo, I hated it because the spices were overwhelming it was just too much so when my sister taught me how to make this she said no you have to add it little by little and keep tasting until it is to your taste and that is exactly what i did and it's just so so delicious now with the shot from the spices this is my third time blending it and it is still very spicy and intense so if you only blend it once and toss it you'll be losing a lot of nutrients in it and what i do is use one bottle of water and once i strain it i keep it in the bottle and i'll use it for my next batch of sobo because i have been making it a lot lately that is our drink in this house especially hubby and i the kids are not too fond of it but we know the health benefits so we try to get them to drink it but we drink it a lot more and when it sits out it ferments so if you want it to ferment a bit you can leave it out otherwise you keep it in your refrigerator and this drink can be served either hot warm all chilled over some ice and I love mine over ice this is also known as Zobo drink in Nigeria yes y'all thank you so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give your girl a thumbs up because it helps me out a whole lot. Share and subscribe to my channel if you have not done that yet. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. Thank you so much for subscribing. And to the sweet team, y'all know I love you. Until I see you in my next video, stay safe, keep loving each other, and remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing. And guys, ke onamini uchemi sweete mahabutu. Bye y'all.